However, uh, counsel and the court's aware that our intention is to file a motion for change of venue that hasn't been filed yet because we're not ready to have that heard yet. There's work that has to be done to present to the court and counsel in support of that. Uh, and the state's position on venue is that the case should be held here. It's a Latah County case. We believe that we can select uh, an appropriate panel of jurors from Latah County. Uh, we have the tools to work with that that we've discussed with your honor. In fact, we already have uh, a fairly comprehensive uh, draft juror questionnaire to send out so that the court and counsel can assess the level of knowledge and the feelings of the potential jury pool. Um, but we think that we can, we at least owe Latah County, the people of Latah County, the attempt to seat a jury here. It was at the last hearing where Ann Taylor officially said she intends to file a motion for a change of venue. The prosecution was aware of this, the judge was aware of this, but nobody outside of the court actually was aware this was something that was going to happen. A lot of people had speculated on the possibility of Brian Colberger getting a fair trial to include me on this channel, and I for one had said this is probably something she should do when the time comes and jury selection is taking place. But she has officially filed that motion earlier last week. A lot of people on this platform have given a wide range of opinions on it, but the motive behind this motion isn't something I'm quite hearing a whole lot of, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. And if an open conversation is something you prefer, then this is the place for you. Welcome to the point. So let's talk about it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. We have long speculated on this channel, and Taylor's probably going to file a motion for a change of venue. We have guessed there was a possibility that she wouldn't get a fair trial in Latah County. But what is odd here is her filing it so early. And why would she file it so early? There has to be a reason for this. Now, Bill Thompson has came on and said that he had a questionnaire ready to send out to everybody that he felt was really comprehensive and could give everybody a good indication on whether or not Brian Kohlberger could get a fair trial. Now, to my knowledge, and if you know differently, let me know down in the comments below, that questionnaire has not been sent out. So if that questionnaire is not sent out, then why file the motion? What validates her filing this motion? Well, she references specifically the media coverage, saying the media has targeted Brian Kohlberger, they've made him out to be the villain, and there's no way anybody could see him in any other light than a guilty person. My thoughts to her statement about the media are quite simply every single individual who is named by police in one of these high profile cases is vilified in the media. I'm not agreeing with it. I don't necessarily think that that's right, but it is the world we live in. And these people are not necessarily getting change of venue requests whenever they want. So simply filing a motion based off media coverage is the wrong play here. You would think she would want to wait for the questionnaire. She would want to wait for the actual evidence of the individuals within the community. And she could show the judge, look at all these answers. All these people that we sent this stuff out automatically believe Brian Kohlberger is guilty. There is no way he could get a fair trial in this county. So what was the point of this? Why would she file this motion so early? There's a piece of this argument that could say she's filing this motion early, and the only reason she's filing it early is because she knows no matter what, there is not going to be a change of venue requested. But as I was listening to a podcast by the lawyer you know who had an appellate attorney on there, it all sort of hit me at one point. Now this appellate attorney went on to specifically say that in his state they can't file appeals if there isn't any type of ruling over this decision, meaning if something had happened in the courtroom. That was clearly wrong, something that could have clearly affected the outcome, but the defense attorney didn't object to it or didn't force some type of ruling, then within the appeal process, they don't have a leg to stand on with that particular argument. And he goes on to state that it is very important for attorneys to preserve the record meaning it is very important for attorneys while they're trying a case to constantly put things in the record that can prove a decision was made so that way when they file an appeal 
they have something to actually appeal. So the motive behind Ann Taylor's motion right now would almost just seem to be she wants to build things up for an appeal. She wants as many things as possible to appeal. And to be fair, that is good lawyering. That is what any attorney should do when they're about to have a criminal case, especially when somebody's life is on the line. So if she is certain that this motion was going to be shot down, then this may very well be the next best move because at least it set something on record. But in terms of when she should have filed this, I would have almost guessed it would have been better to file this when they were trying to impanel a jury. In fact, go back to the Murdoch trial before Judge Newman retired, Harputlian said he wanted to have a change of venue. And Judge Newman clearly said, well, don't you think we should try to impanel the jury first? Don't you think we should give these people the opportunity to hear this case since it happened to them? and this community was directly affected by it? Because we all do have to agree, when a heinous crime is committed, it does affect the community. It does affect these people. So they should have the right, or at least the attempt, to have the jury pool selected from them. I don't want to get on here and make the opinion that Ann Taylor is wrong in what she is doing. She has a much better eye on the overall situation than any of us do. She knows what she's doing. She is a well-known lawyer in that state, and she's very accomplished. And, and I certainly don't think she's doing anything to stonewall anybody. I believe she's doing what she believes is best to represent her client. And I think she's doing it to the best of her ability. I did know it would be a matter of time before she did something that made me raise an eyebrow a little bit and makes me want to question things. But it doesn't make sense to file this motion so early. So the only other reason I can think of is she's trying to build a record for appeals. And if that's her game and that's her long-term strategy, then so be it. That is still well within her right as the attorney. And that is still well within the legal system that every person has as they're going through the judicial process. I'm pretty sure this motion is going to fail, but it's not going to fail because of any type of corruption. I believe this motion is going to fail because she can't adequately prove, unless she has something else, that that community as a whole is so grossly determined that Brian Kohlberger did this. If you see any of these things differently, you can let me know down in the comments below. Well, other than that, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. Y'all stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.